Hey there, it's me, Lita, and um, this is the look that I've created today. It is a cream look. Um, I don't know what inspired me. I guess I felt like doing a green tutorial. Um, green doesn't really work for my eyes, but it doesn't look bad on me. And I've got like a brown lip, so it's kind of like a tree, I guess. And like um, red on my cheeks, so it's like an apple tree. <laughs> that just came into my mind. Maybe green. Maybe I should just call this look an apple tree. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. First, we are priming our eyes and also under because we're putting shadow there as well. Then I'm getting a light green cream eyeshadow with a any kind of brush and just putting that onto our whole entire lid. Then we're getting a dark green cream and we're just putting that on the outer lid, outer half of the lid. Then we're getting that middle green there and uh, with a flat shader brush and just patting it onto our whole lid. <laughs> then we're getting the light green in the palette and an angled brush and I'm just filling it in in the inner corner and kind of under and um, then I'm getting a darker green and just putting it the rest of it under on the lower lash line <clears throat> after that I'm getting this mild green with a crease brush and I'm just um, filling the crease um, but make sure you don't get it too close to the lid because we want kind of a distinction between the crease and the lid. Then I'm getting a dark dark green with a with my crease brush and just filling in the outer corner. Then I'm getting this pale colour that actually lighter than it looks with a fluffy brush and I'm just um, putting into my brow bone with a and then a white with the angled brush and just putting that right under my brow. For eyeliner I'm just getting this pencil um, eyeliner. Um, I know that I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't stretch my lid but um, I can't find my liquid eyeliner. <laughs> but anyway so it's, it's it just as good. And then my waterline. That looks a bit weird. <laughs> Then I'm curling my eyelashes and then putting on Colossal because that makes my eyelashes so, so long. Very long. Then I'm getting my W7 Massive Lashes and applying that because it separates really well. For um, bronzer, I'm just getting this W7 Bronzer with a fluffy brush and just applying bronzer all over the face um, because this look, like, I don't know, it just... Um, Needs bronzer all over the face, it doesn't distinctively. I don't put on too much. And then getting a red blush, and I'm putting the, like a paper on an angled on my cheek. And then I'm just going to swing the blush back and forth just so we make a line because we have contoured, we haven't contoured anything basically, and I like to have like a nice contour. And so having the blush, um, to contour it is perfect and then I'm just blending it out just so it's not that distinctive for the lips I'm getting a lip balm and we're just going to use a brown um, lip gloss and this one's from the body shop and um, it's kind of pinky it's kind of nudie but um not don't just we don't going to do anything special to it just apply it and that's it I hope you liked it.